Hello everybody, Dr. Shuttle 2 here, and today I'm going to be starting my uh, kit PvP bucket coding tutorial things, and it's just going to be on how to make a kit PvP bucket plugin, because that's basically all I code is kit PvP. So first we're going to download Eclipse, and that is your Java programming software thing. So I'm going to want to open up Google Chrome. And you're gonna want to go to Google, or, or no, you're just gonna want to type Eclipse.org, but I think I'll have it in the description of this video for you guys. So, I probably should have opened this up already, but I'm gonna type in Eclipse.org. And we'll wait, and go to, wait for it to load. Uh, my Google Chrome has been acting up lately, so it takes a while. So you're going to want to go to Downloads. And then you're going to want to download Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers. And download 64 32-bit, whichever one you have. After that is done, you're going to want to find where you downloaded it. So I'm going to go to where I downloaded mine. And there will be, it'll be a zip, it'll be like in a WinRAR file, or it'll be in a zip. Anyways, and then you're going to want to open it. You could extract the files, but I choose not to. And you're going to want to open eclipse.exe, not eclipse.exe, open eclipse.exe. And it will start launching. And I'll be back when it is done launching. Okay, so my Eclipse finished loading. And right in the middle of your right in the middle of your like download slash installation thing, it'll ask you where you want to save and then you wanna choose where you wanna save all your projects. So you'll click that and then it'll relaunch itself and it'll relaunch the window and then you want to and then it'll bring you to this one weird window and in the top right hand corner corner it'll say like proceed to workbench or something of that matter so after you're done with that you're going to get to this page and then you're going to want to go to file new it'll say java project or G jpa project and right here you're gonna wanna name your project so you're gonna name it like kits or whatever you wanna name your plugin so I'm gonna name mine YouTube kits and finish and right click your YouTube kits go to or right click your project go to new package and your package is like where you start your coding well it's in the class but and then you're gonna wanna type me dot your name my name is Dr. Earl too so I'm gonna put that in there and I'm gonna name it YouTube kits you can name it whatever you want just make sure you do me and your name and then dot whatever you want and finish and then you're gonna wanna right click your package and go to new class and you're gonna wanna name you can name this whatever you want I'm gonna name it YouTube kits and there we go and now what you have to do is right click on your YouTube kits and go to properties go to Java build path add external jars and you're gonna wanna take the um with you you should have a server obviously so take the craft bucket or bucket that you have from there and put that as your um, external jar. So I'm just going to take mine. I have so many of them. So this is the one that I use, craft bucket jar, and I'm going to press OK. And now I have craft bucket jar. I have the craft bucket jar library in my project. 
So now you're going to see your package, and package is right there, and your class, and my class is right there. And then right after YouTube kits, you're going to do, ex you're going to type extends Java plugin. And you're just going to want to import Java plugin. And that's all we'll do for today. Next episode, I'll show you how to make a standard PvP kit. I think without enchantments or armor or anything so we will I'll show you guys in the next time I I'll show you guys how to do a standard PvP PvP kit next time and I hope this helped you with installing Eclipse and we'll start some more and we'll keep going from here okay see you guys